Hey guys, this is Brad Barnes with Barnes Four Wheel Drive. Today we're going to take a look at our JK rear lower control arm brackets. So this is our JK rear lower control arm mount. If you spend any time on the trail with a JK, you know the rear shocks are really getting beat up as well as the lower control arm brackets. After a little bit of trail time, we knew we needed to come up with a better solution for the rear lower control arm mount. We shortened the lower control arm bracket by two inches to gain ground clearance, but we left the mounting point for the control arm in the factory location to ensure factory geometry and factory rod. What we did do, however, is we moved the shock mounting location up two inches. The shock was the lowest point and we wanted to get it up and out of the way. So what you're gonna do is, let's say if you're running a four inch lift, you're gonna buy shocks for a two inch lift. As you can see, the bottom of the control arm bracket and the bottom of the shock bracket both sit nice and flush here on our fab table. So to ensure you get everything lined up right and maintain factory geometry, you'll notice the shock bracket here has these square keys. They will locate into the lower control arm bracket here at these square holes. For your sway bar tab, we have an etched line here that shows you just exactly where you need to have this place before you weld it on so you don't even have to pull a tape measure. To add strength to the bracket and protection for your control arm joints, we've integrated a skid here on the bottom of the control arm bracket. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to subscribe and like, and hopefully we'll see you on the trail soon.